The National Gallery of Arts has been holding an art fair which has moved across major cities within the country. And now they have landed in the nation's capital, Abuja, where they are collaborating with private galleries through the Society of Nigerian Artists. event begins with various colorful performances by the Federal Capital Territory's cultural troupe. They add spice to an already glamorous fiesta, which begins from this hall. After being entertained by the troupe, Visitors are taken to the exhibition hall at the Cyprian Equancy Center for Arts and Culture. The maiden edition of the International Art Fair features selected works of art from private galleries in Abuja. We have made considerable effort to see how uh, we can have a place, uh, an edifice where we use as a gallery, where the artworks of great Nigerian artists will be displayed. It will be an, a venue for visitors to come in come and see the works of the arts, and some will even act as a token for gate fee to be collected, just like it's done in other parts of the world. that we have collaborated with SNA. There has been some uh, little misunderstanding between NGA and SNA. But we are trying to reunite and we are working together as a force to see that we are going to achieve success. So we are fighting a battle now and SNA is strongly behind and we are going to succeed in what we are planning. So it's not just one man, uh, so the NGA is there. Uh, we have a uh, society of Nigerian artists, we have female as, um, artists of Nigeria, we have all other organizations. This collaboration between the National Gallery of Art and the Society of Nigerian Artists showcases outstanding images that portray their essence and standing in the art space. the voice that you can amplify to do better things for Nigeria, this country. We're going through trying times, but this is when you essentially need us to push forward that idea which will build up for either better understanding or, I mean, a finer economic growth, or to tell you that the political structures that we see every day that people like try to negate can be done better either this way or that way. So the expressions you see on the walls everywhere here today will tell you exactly that there are ways to go about this things, and we are the ones that are the architects to this. Every part of the world, there's a special window you sell all of these artworks. Most people don't see the artists, but what they see is a good job, and they pay and money transmitted to them, which is what we are planning to do now for us to have a window where all these artists can come together. The first international art exhibition is to set up the platform and to make sure we are promoting a total local content. You can see everything we've gone around here 
is produced from Nigeria by Nigerians and also to promote the international concept of exhibition in any of its application. So today I'm assuring you we succeeded in making a statement that will continue to make this a bigger exhibition in the nearest future. The gallery owners tell more about what's in their collection. The works are of standard, they are standard. They show creativity as much as possible. And, but I think in art, we still have much to be desired. The world is changing. The world has gone digital as much as possible. I want, we, we are still showing many, it's like our film industry. They are still showing love in the family, all those stories and all. But in the Western world, you have films like Matrix. You have wonderful films now that are projected by art. It's missing in our film industry. So until the artists in Nigeria wake up to be in the digital world, and when they do, you will see it and smell it in their art, you will see it in film industry, dance is trying. You will see a lot of scientific uh, calculations are going now into dance and all that. A lot of people don't know that you need mathematics in everything. You need algorithm in everything. You need geometry in many things. And so the, mo the earlier our government, our people come to realize that this thing you call science and engineering <laughs> cannot happen, cannot bring about technology without art. trying to do with the art is to make sure that we give you a reflection of who you are. When we're talking about this very event today, it means that we are actually pushing beyond the barriers for those things that Nigerians don't understand so easily. And what is it that they don't understand? They don't understand that the essence of living itself and then having to develop as an economy, I mean, as I mean, a stronghold for Nigeria essentially, is through the art. It's just always been through the art. So we are promoting this because we understand that there are stances that we must use. What are these stances? Exhibiting before the general public and making sure that every step that you come through today here, you see art in its own different specter. You see art in, I mean, the brilliance, not just in colors, but in the excellence to which the person works as a civilized person. Nigeria has been so very civilized, just essentially, first and foremost, because of the art. And it dates back in the 1800s, 1700s, since from the beginning. So we have always been existing as a, a very wonderful people, but it is the shortfall that we're introducing today that is supposedly a thing that we need to cut into so Nigerians will understand. The background for development, socially, economically, and everything comes from us. That is what we're doing here today. As Nigerians, we have so much potential, and I feel that potential has to be actually explored because so much of our talents in this country is actually hidden, and art is like a form of which we can express ourselves as Nigerians. This is the culmination of series of art fairs initiated by the National Gallery of Art to display creations across the country for the art lovers to view appreciate and ultimately purchase any of these rich pieces on display.